Welcome. We've made sushi. How much would you pay for sushi? If you want the best, or what many connoisseurs consider to be the best, you better be prepared to shell out the big bucks. So get out that platinum credit card as we look at the 10 most expensive sushi in the world. Do you like, do you like sushi? Lucky Direction Sushi Roll. You should know you don't make sushi rolls out of tuna salad. If you've got $97 to spend on a single sushi roll and you're planning on visiting Japan, you may want to head for the Shinjuku Isatan department store, where well-heeled customers have indulged in pricey Lucky Direction sushi rolls. You'll find sushi in the basement level of the department store. The costliest sushi roll offered at the store's eatery featured a gold leaf wrapping. This sushi roll is pre-packaged, so it's easy to grab it if you want a quick and super expensive snack on the go. There are a dozen forms of upscale seafood in each Lucky Direction sushi roll. Have you ever eaten edible gold? Experts say that the edible gold should have a grade of 22 to 24 carats for maximum purity. That's 24 carat gold, best there is. The high grade edible gold is safer to consume than the lower grade edible gold, which may have some impurities. The Lucky Direction sushi roll is probably wrapped in the high grade gold. For the price, it better be. Let me digest it. Let me get my money's worth. Omakase menu, Nobu, Miami. And you didn't even order. It's one of those places where you don't even get a menu. Omakase. With an omakase menu, the chef chooses what you eat. Many fine sushi restaurants worldwide offer exceptional omakase menus that aren't exactly easy on the pocketbook. One of these eateries is the decidedly glam Nobu in Miami, Florida, USA. If you're at all interested in sushi, you've probably heard of Nobu, even if you haven't had the chance to eat there. There are Nobu restaurants in various cities. Celebs really love Nobu, and they are in the enviable position of being able to enjoy the pricey omakase menu at Nobu, Miami. Man to man. Thank you. I like that. It costs 180 US dollars to indulge in this glorious sushi tasty menu. If you opt for the omakase menu at Nobu Miami, you'll be able to dine in the interior of Miami's chic and exclusive Eden Rock Hotel. The Miami Nobu Eatery doesn't have a minimalist look, like the stripped down decor of the Nobu in Manhattan. The Miami Nobu features opulent decor that fits the high luxury level of the food, including the costly omakase menu. If you prefer to order off of the regular Nobu Miami menu so you can choose exactly what you'll get rather than having a chef do it for you, don't expect to save a ton of money. This eatery is pricey and that's part of its appeal. It's not a basic place to grab a bite. I don't have a lot of money, you know, I mean, I'm not poor or anything. Omakase menu, Masa, NYC. He's eating his own sushi! That's the most baller thing I've ever seen! It costs a staggering 595 American dollars to enjoy the omakase tasting menu at the very upscale Masa Eatery in New York City. Jesus, why is it so expensive here? While prices for this chef's menu have been described as absurd, customers keep coming. Masa is the brainchild of a chef named Masayoshi Takayama. He began learning about food as a boy because his parents owned a fish market in Japan. He started out bringing sashimi to people in his neighborhood. He used a bike to make his deliveries. Then he moved on to catering weddings. He kept growing as a chef. At Masa, the sushi counter is sanded each and every day. The decor is elegant and simple, so that the food, including costly sushi, takes center stage. While there are critics who think that the chef's menu at Masa is overpriced, the eatery does provide a real experience to patrons. It takes about two hours to enjoy the omakase menu experience. Prepare for an expensive and delicious night out. That's tasty. Too tasty. Grand Omakase Menu, Oya, Boston. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oya in Boston is a great place to spend a lot of money on sushi. Located at 9 East Street, it offers a very elevated Grand Omakase Menu that features some extremely tasty bites. To indulge in this experience, which includes a whopping 24 courses, Wow, that's, that's a lot. 
you'll need to spend 285 bucks. If you want beverage pairings, tack on another $185. Then prepare to chill in a dimly lit, soothing environment where you'll be treated to VIP service as you indulge in a host of tasty courses that really pique your palate, including local sea bream with evergreen oil, ginger from Japan, and a persimmon miso. Yes, this is all quite expensive, but most people who go for the Grand Omakase menu are glad that they did. Reviews of this sushi experience are glowing. This restaurant is definitely chic. It's situated within a century-old firehouse in the city's heritage-rich leather district. But I guess our rich heritage means nothing to you. The Golden Sushi. Tastes almost exactly like pure melted gold. The Golden Sushi is prepared only on demand. It's so expensive that few can afford to enjoy it. Created by a chef from the Philippines, Angelito Araneta Jr., this sushi features edible gold leaf rather than the usual seaweed. Each roll is adorned with a trio of precious pearls. Diamonds from Africa are used as glittering accents. To enjoy the world's costliest sushi, you will need to drop about 1,980 US dollars for just five sushi rolls. Holy smokes! Each roll is an edible art masterpiece. The nigiri rolls include Norwegian salmon with an attractive pink hue, in addition to luxurious foie gras. These fancy sushi rolls have earned Chef Angelito Araneta Jr. the nickname The Carrot Chef for all that bling. These sushi rolls are the sushi equivalent of Birkin bags from Hermes or couture ball gowns from Chanel. Pics of the golden sushi will definitely add visual impact to any foodie's Instagram profile. I'm on this new diet, so I look at pictures of food I can't have. Omakase menu, Sukiyabashi Jiro, Tokyo, Japan. All the best stuff is made in Japan. This Edo-style sushi restaurant attracts posh clientele, including former POTUS Barack Obama. Obama was still the president of the United States when he visited Sukiyabashi Jiro. He proclaimed its sushi the very best. The omakase experience at this restaurant is pricey and in demand. If you make a reservation, bear in mind you may be hit with a hefty cancellation fee if you you don't make it to the restaurant on time. Who would do that? At this Japanese restaurant, it's all about the fish. Its owner and chef, Jiro Ono, earned a trio of Michelin stars. He was the very first sushi chef to receive this high honor. Edo style means that the chef respects the old tradition of sushi, which was initially a street food. He encourages guests to pick up sushi with their fingers and pop it into their mouths. The omakase menu at this eatery includes 20 pieces of sushi, which is a lot. Customers are supposed to eat their sushi as soon as it arrives. This is the best way to maximize flavors. They aren't supposed to dip it in soy sauce. You'll learn a lot about sushi etiquette when you dine at this revered restaurant. The tasting menu costs about 270 US dollars or 30,000 yen. How much would these run you in Tokyo? Ah, uh, about 30,000 yen. Omakase menu, Sushi Taro, Washington, D.C. This is like restaurant quality sushi. This sushi eatery is located in Washington, D.C., and it is an establishment that is Michelin starred. People who work at the Japanese embassy reportedly love this eatery, which has a very fancy omakase menu. It's possible to enjoy omakase for as little as 140 bucks at Sushi Taro, but most people end up spending roughly $160 to enjoy the chef's tasting menu. Allow me to suggest a 46 course tasting menu. The omakase experience at Sushi Taro is cheap, but it sounds like a lot of fun. It's slightly different from other omakase experiences because customers who choose the omakase counter experience are able to decide what pace the meal experience should proceed at, as well as what they wish to eat. While seated at the counter, a customer will be presented with an array of fresh fish by the restaurant's chef. The customer may then decide what he or she wants to eat. The experience includes four to six dishes, as well as sashimi that is in season and sushi. There's just so many options. Omakase menu, Urasawa, Los Angeles. The most vibrant place in the city. 
and they have really good sushi. This eatery is located on Ritzy Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles. It's known for being a very expensive place to dine. Choosing the omakase menu will cost you 395 bucks. Since the eatery has a couple of Michelin stars, many people do want to shell out the big bucks at Urasawa. In the past, the eatery's chef, Hiroyuki Urasawa, worked under Masa Takayama, who heads NYC's Masa. Urasawa gets his fish from a fish market in Japan. Chef Masa flies in fish from the same market. You want to go to the fish market? No, we should. I'm going to buy a bluefin. This importation of fresh and delectable seafood helps to explain the high price of the tasting menu. To follow etiquette at Urasawa, you must consume each piece of sushi within just 10 seconds of receiving it. As you can see, omakase experiences are what the wealthy want. They want gifted sushi chefs from the best restaurants to get creative and offer them handcrafted sushi based on which fish is freshest and what the chef feels like preparing. This type of dining experience is more intimate than simply ordering some rolls and sashimi off a menu. With omakase, a dialogue between chef and patron is established through the universal language of food. I made a reservation for sushi at 11. Omakase menu, Kurumazushi, NYC. There's only one place to get authentic New York style sushi. Most patrons who dine at this Midtown NYC restaurant, which has been around since the late 70s, end up spending just under 400 bucks for their sushi meals. This eatery is popular with New Yorkers and with international customers. The restaurant is known for its superb and acclaimed sushi chef, Toshihiro Uezu. The sushi counter is definitely the focus at Kurumazushi. This restaurant offers a dining experience that has the same level of quality as Japan's finest sushi restaurants. Customers love the freshness and deliciousness of the sushi offered at this restaurant. It was the greatest thing I ever tasted. The omakase menu costs $300, and beverages and tip are extra. There are more affordable omakase experiences available, but you may want to try a deluxe one. Shut up and take my money! Omakase menu, Sushi Sasabune, Los Angeles. There's this amazing sushi place that I want to try. An omakase menu experience at LA's Sushi Sasabune Eatery will set you back $250. This restaurant offers a traditional Japanese experience. The eatery's decor isn't the fanciest, but the food is glorious. I kill for a spicy tuna roll right about now. You'll love the delicious bites that you receive during your chef's tasting menu experience. If you don't mind dropping serious cash to eat in a restaurant that has an understated vibe, head for Sushi Sasabune. The food will make you feel like a VIP. Apparently I'm... I'm a VIP! Get more bang for your buck by tapping on another one of our great videos. And for our new viewers, don't forget to swap that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.